grab it here in Kawhi's room, uh, a nice respite from the show floor, uh, with Tom Love of Kawhi America. And uh, I just finished uh, doing a little bit of playing of the new VPC-1 controller. This is a new custom controller Kawhi has designed uh, for high-end software pianos, and they've worked with companies like Synthogy, Ivory, Native Instruments, Pianotech from ModArt, uh, and Galaxy to uh, develop custom touch response curves that pretty much perfectly marry the action to the piano. And I'll tell you, I was just playing the American Steinway and Ivory on this, and I've never heard Ivory feel or sound quite uh, like this. Uh, and it's just because the finger to music connection is so immediate and has, has been so carefully planned out that you don't have that sense of a piece of hardware communicating with a piece of software that's off in a computer somewhere. A big part of that is the action that they've used, which is their own design. Uh, it's, it's of their own manufacturer. Tom's going to explain the uh, the action in this thing. Well, the action on the VPC-1 is a newer version of the same action that's on the MP-10, and it's called the, uh, the uh, RM-3 Grand Action. Uh, specifically with the VPC-1, it's the RM-3 Grand 2 action. And the beauty of this, the, the obvious point of this is a long wooden key stick, uh, but uh, the beauty of it is that the mechanical design is falls very closely to our grand piano uh, mechanical design. And so we have a form, we have a saying that it's weight plus motion uh, that equals feel. It's not just weight. You have to have the correct weight and the correct mechanical movement if you want to emulate properly the feel of a grand piano. So if you have a look at this grand piano action that I have down here, the characteristics of this are you have a long wooden key stick, and most importantly, you have a pivot point uh, in the middle of the key so that there's movement on both ends of the key, a seesaw motion, if you will. This creates a great sense of leverage on the front end. Sense of balance. Yes, on the key. And if you notice in the, in the back of the key here, this is where all the action parts are. This is where the mass is the weight of, of the action. So you've got the weight of the action on the back of the key, it's being pushed up by uh, a downward movement on the front of the key. And then you can see the hammer comes up here and strikes, this would be the string. So you have the, the, the generation of the sound coming at the end of the process up here. So what we did with our RM3 action is we took those mechanical principles and applied it to a digital piano action. So you have a nice long wooden key stick with balance points in the center. And so you have the same seesaw motion, the same leverage. It gives you a much finer sense of control. And you have, here's the weight, so you have the, all the mass in the back of the key is being pushed up in an upward motion, up towards, in this case, not the string, but the key contact. So again, the, the start of the sound is at the end of the process, not at the beginning of the process. So it creates a much more natural feel. And, and to this action, we've added triple sensor key detection, so it greatly improves uh, repetition speed uh, and also legato playing. And uh, it really makes a, a, a strong organic connection uh, to the electronics, either of a digital just, piano or of, 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 of a virtual piano. Just felt it. Now, how are the, how are the triple sensors sort of summed or interpreted uh, by, the, uh, by the electronics, if uh, you will? You, you might have to get Alan Palmer in here to get, I give you a very good technical explanation of that. But basically, tri triple sensor design, it allows you to play a note. You have the first contact, and then you have the last contact, and that's when the note plays. And then uh, the tone generator, generator processes how fast that occurred. So the faster it occur occurs, the louder the tone, the slower it occurs, the softer oh, so the tone. So it's using uh, time between, yes, between exactly. sensor hits to register vo uh, MIDI velocity. Right. And the beauty of the triple sensor is, is that the third sensor is placed in between the first and the, and the last sensor. So what happens is after you release a note, you don't have to fully release it to get a, a repetition of the note. So oh, as on, okay, two okay. Sensor, on two sensor design, you have to fully release the note and right. then play it again. Right. And that's not natural, it's not germane to a real piano. So by having that third sense in the middle, you can, you can just, like a real piano, you can actually yeah. not do a full keystroke and get full repetition You can do that Billy it. Joel machine gun thing. And yeah, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's it in a nutshell, in a layman's yeah. way of saying it. Wow. Um, and, well, you know, I've, and I've, I've just played the results of this action design. Uh, plus the custom touch curves that work with uh, various pieces of software. This is going to be a $21.99 list and probably come in uh, out the door just you know somewhere uh, 18, not quite 18, a, 18, 18, 19, 19, comfortably not yet too grand. Uh, and if you're a piano purist uh, who's been looking for just a, a dedicated action to to marry to something like Synthogy Ivory or Pianotech, 
uh, this is really, really worth a look, maybe as your central studio controller. You know, it's, it's all about piano. You don't have pitch wheels or buttons or knobs on it, but there's a nice big surface here that you can set something else on, like a control surface or a Control sensor. surface yeah. or, or a, a micro uh, controller or another uh, a workstation or a keyboard or anything like that. And uh, it's simple in design, but it's open-ended in its architecture, so it can, it can work with a lot of different MIDI devices, either by MIDI and USB simultaneously. So it's got a lot of flexibility. Very cool. Well, Tom Love of Kawhi, thank you very much. Thanks. And this, again, is the VPC-1.